Hello, in this video, I'm going to be focusing on using Grammarly to improve your writing, and I am going to focus on using Grammarly right in the Grammarly editor itself. So to get here, you would just go to grammarly.com, and then it would bring you to this dashboard. You can click on new, you can paste in your document. So say that you have it in Google Docs. So I started in Google Docs and I got great detailed feedback here, but say I want a little bit more feedback on my work. I'm gonna show you how you can get a little bit more options when you go to the Grammarly editor itself. So I'm going to just select all copy and I'm gonna go back to Grammarly and I'm going to paste in my document. When I do that, it will ask me what are my goals for this writing. So I can adjust them if I want to. I'm going to press done. I'm not going to change anything. So this is my demo of Grammarly. I'm gonna name my document so I can find it easily later. It does allow you to accept all the changes at once here. And I never recommend doing that. It is so important that you go through and you understand what each piece of feedback is telling you and you make a wise decision on whether or not you want to accept the change or not accept the change. Because honestly, not all the changes in Grammarly are things that you want to accept. Sometimes they give you something that you're not going for, or it might not fit your paper, or it might just not sound like you. So it's so important to go step by step. So I'm going to dismiss this all the time. I never use that. Now I would go step by step. So you can just click on the cards over here to open it up and get a little bit more context. So here it's telling me that grown up is missing a hyphen. If I don't understand what exactly that means, I can press learn more and it gives me the definition of what it means and also some examples of incorrect and correct usages of the hyphen and when I would need it. So if I want to make that small again, I can just press on less. If I want to accept that change, I would just click on it right here and it automatically changes it. I can also click on any of the mistakes. So like here it says very afraid. What is that mistake? I can click on it and it will bring me right to that card. I can learn more about what this means again. I can make it smaller. If that is something I want to accept, I would click on accept to change it. Maybe terrified isn't a word that I would really use and I don't want to use that one. I can just ignore it. I can just leave it there. I can delete it to dismiss it if I don't want to use it. I'm going to dismiss it for right now. If you accidentally dismissed it, you can undo it immediately right there. So now let's go to see what other changes. So when I'm in Grammarly.com itself, I can sort by which type of suggestion it is. So if I wanna just look at like the engagement ones, I can click on engagement and it would just give me the corrections in the engagement category. If I just wanna look at delivery, I can click on delivery and it will just give me the corrections in that delivery category. So that's something that's nice, that's not offered in the Google Doc itself. I can't sort them. It gives me the color code, but I can't sort them and just click on them. So that is something you can do over here. Another thing that you can do in Grammarly.com itself is you can look at your overall score performance. So if I just click on that, it will give me some analytics. It'll tell me my word count. It will tell me my readability score. It'll tell me my vocabulary score too, which is really cool. I can also download a PDF report. Say my teacher wants me to turn in my Grammarly report along with my paper. You can only do that when you go to Grammarly.com itself and you can download that PDF report right here. And then I could hand that in to my teacher. Again, how did I get there? I just went to this overall score performance, which is right here on the side, and then download your PDF report. If at any time you wanna change any of those goals, like the tone we set or the formality, you can do that by clicking on goals and press done. Another thing that is available in Grammarly.com itself is this plagiarism checker. So if I click on plagiarism, that will do a check against a bunch of different web pages. And I did um, copy and paste this from a web page. So you can see that 8% of your text matches exactly this source. And then if I click on this other one, 92% of your text matches this source. Again, I did copy and paste this from somewhere else entirely. So that's why I'm getting 100% plagiarism. So this is something that you can do to self-check and make sure that you're not accidentally plagiarizing anything. 
So again, how I got there was down at the bottom, there's this plagiarism check. If you don't see that, and this is only on the premium, so you do need to be on premium in order to use that. Make sure that you're on the premium. All right, the last thing over here is this little menu that would allow you, if you wanted to like upload your file that was a Word document or something like that, instead of copy paste, you can do that here. You can also print your document right here. You can check the editor settings. I don't have any of these turned on, but if you wanted to like auto jump to the next suggestion, you can turn that on. If you needed your font size a little bit bigger, you can also increase the font text size, stuff like that. I honestly don't use the sidebar too much, but that is available to you if you need to change anything. Last thing I'll show you is something rather new to Grammarly is that you can actually use some rich text. So, you know, before you couldn't bold things when you were in Grammarly itself, now you can, so you can bold it. These are headers if you want to make things a header. If you want to insert hyperlinks, you want to make a number list, a bulleted list. It also tells you how many words your entire document is. So that's really nice. If you need to do a quick little word count, you can do that right there. And um, that's it. When you finish your whole thing, if you do want to work in the Grammarly editor to revise everything, to get more feedback, and then you want to put it back in a Google Doc at the end, my recommendation is just select all. So Command A to select all, and then Command C to copy. Or of course you can use edit here and select all and then copy and then go back into your Google Doc, paste it in, and um, that's how I could finalize my document and turn it in. You can also go over here and you could download it if you wanted to download it as a Word document. That is also an option. All right, that is going to be it for this video about how to best use Grammarly to correct your work. I hope it was helpful. Bye.